before I begin my bombastic speech here, <laughs> I'd like to thank you for your time and giving me this opportunity to give you the speech tonight. So, if you could make a difference in our environment, would you? Skip the bag. There are over, there are between 500 billion and 1 trillion plastic bags used in our environment every year, worldwide. <clears throat> that comes out to over 1 million bags per minute. Multiply that time your speech tonight. <laughs> Think of it. Only one out of every 200 bags get recycled on average. Prior to 1979, the way that we brought goods home were in paper bags. We'd go to the store, we'd go to the grocery store, and we would get our goods in paper bags. About 1985, a hundred, I'm sorry, a thousand paper bags cost about thirty dollars. Those same thousand plastic bags only cost twenty-four dollars. A twenty percent savings. So obviously we switched to plastic. And now it's plastic, plastic, plastic almost everywhere. Paper bags only take one month to decompose. I use mine when I can't skip the bag as a recyclable container in my house. Why we dispose of our recyclables into this bag. And so I give it another life and re recycling it. This plastic bag lasts anywhere between 10 years all the way up to one thousand years. Now, even if we couldn't prove the thousand year theory, we know we can prove the ten year theory because we've already been there. And that's 120 times greater than the paper bag. Today, when I was driving around, I saw plastic bags all over the highway. I saw them dangling in trees like this. And every time I go to the beach, I see them blowing around. And what happens is, they go into the water. And when they go into the water, they disappear to us, and they sink. And so now, this plastic bag is floating around in the water. And a sea turtle comes by. He thinks it's food. He stops eating this plastic bag. And in a short time, most of the time, they suffocate and die. And you've, you've probably seen pictures, or I have, of them on beaches, dead. Now, to, you might say, Mike, we have no sea turtles here in Rhode Island. <laughs> and you might be right. But what do we have here in Rhode Island? We have tuna, we have swordfish, we have sharks, and we have jellyfish. And to all four of those, these plastic bags in the ocean fill with water. And as they're moving up and down, what do they look like? They look like jellyfish. And all of those three, four, the swordfish, the shark, the tuna, and even other jellyfish eat or try to eat these plastic bags as food. So, what I am proposing to you today is I'm going to kick off my skip the bag campaign here tonight. Birthday, again, as we know, is Saturday. So here's how it works. You go to the convenience store, or you're the, wherever you go for a store, and you grab a few items. They always want to put it in the bag for you. You say, no, I'm all set. I don't, I'm going to skip the bag. And you leave holding these two items, or three, whatever, it's the here, you know? Skip the bag, <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't always skip the bag. Sometimes you need a bag. So I ask you to ask for paper, okay? We can reuse this again. Remember, I use it as a recycle bin, and I put it in my recycle bin. Remember, one month to decompose this paper bag. Ten years to a thousand years to decompose this. So, 
When you have a choice, I'm just asking you to skip the bag. And this summer, especially at the beach, I hope I see less bags there. And I hope you will join me in my campaign. Um, it's national launch here tonight, so I'm going to try and see what we can do with this. So I thank you for your time, and please remember, you can make a difference if you want to. Please skip the bag. Thank you.